Hello good day viewers, you are welcome back to Shabes online tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to look at some of the basic algebraic and indices. So on the board, we are giving this algebraic and indices expression on the board from number 1 to 8. So let's get started. So number 1, we are giving x plus x plus x. So this is equal to what? This is 1x adding to another x, then adding to another x. It will give us 3x. So number two, we have x multiplied by x multiplied by x. So it's going to give us x to the power of 3. Because this x is the base raised to the power of 3. It implies x is multiplied itself three times. So this is what we have in the left hand side here. x is multiplied by itself three times. So in the case of multiple, it's going to be x to the power of 3. But in the case of addiction, if you are adding x together, it's going to be 3x. So number three, we are given 6y plus 3y. We notice that 6 and 3, they are constant. So y and y, they are variable. But y is the same as y. So since the variable are the same and the coefficients are constant, so we are free to add the two terms together. We are going to have 6 plus 3 is going to give us 9. Then 9y. So number 4, we are given 7x plus 2y. We notice that 7 and 2, they are constant, but x and y are variable. But in this case, x and y, they are not the same. They are different variables. So in this case, we cannot add these two terms together. So the result is still the same as 7x plus 2y. Nothing changed. So number 5, we are given 7x multiple 2y. This dot means multiplication. So, but in this case, we are going to multiply them together. 7 multiplied by 2 is going to give us 14. Then x multiplied by y is going to give us xy. So in the, in the place of addition, you cannot add them together. But in the place of multiplication, you can add, you can multiply the coefficient together. And also we can multiply the two variables together. So the next one, number C, is indices. We are giving y to the third power multiplied by y to the second power. So according to law of indices, no, this is multiplication law of indices. Since the base are the same, what we are going to do, you write the base, which is y, then we add the two power together, which is 3 plus 2, which is going to give us y to the fifth power. So the next one is m to the fifth power divided by m to the second power. So we notice also that the base are the same. So this is division law of indices. What you are going to do, you write the base, then we subtract the power. So the first power is 5, then we take away 2 from 5, because 2 is the power of the denominator. So this is going to give us m to the third power, if you subtract 2 from 5. So the last one is power law of indices. We have x as a base raised to the power of 6, and all is raised to the power of 2. So according to the power law of indices, we are free to multiply the two power together. So this is going to give us x to the power of 6 multiplied by 2, which is the same as x to the power of 12. So these are the sum of the basic algebraic and this is indices I have for you today. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also follow me on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram at Shabet Online Tutorial. Bye.